This is behind the counter at a local Japanese set meal restaurant for university students. Good morning everyone, we are up early for this one. I'm just right by the University of Tokyo and I'm taking you behind the counter at this local Japanese set meal shop just right behind me. It's a fourth generation shop so I'm super excited to get this one started. Here we go. I'm taking you behind the counter and deep inside the kitchen of a local family owned Japanese Teishoku restaurant called Shokudo Morikawa. Nestled within walking distance from Tokyo University, the oldest university in Japan, it's been a staple nourishment for students for more than 120 years. The shop originally started selling bento boxes on campus, distributing them with a carrying pole, aka milkmaid's yolk, and later grew into a Teishoku restaurant, meaning it serves Japanese set meals where all of the dishes in the course are served together often consisting of a main dish, rice, soup, and sides. Today, the shop serves not only students and professors, but also locals and salarymen alike, all lining up to enjoy their delectable and affordable set meals. Good morning! Oh, awesome. He's the fourth generation owner, Matsukawa-san. You're so early! <laughs> the shop opens at 11.30, but his morning starts as early as 6 a.m. You always watch the news? Cool. The first thing he does is to start the dashi broth, which serves as the base for many of his dishes. And then he heats up the various sauces. So how long have you been doing this? Wow, how old are you? Damn, you look young. While he waits for everything to heat up, it's part of his morning routine to make his morning coffee. Oh, this is mine? Thank you! So nice! Oh, my boy? Yeah, he's three. Thanks. What about you? How about your daughters? Where is she now? Dope. So, how did you meet your wife? Damn, apparently they got married 10 years later at 26. <laughs> An honest man. So, did you think you were going to take over the family business? Apparently, he officially started at the age of 19, but voluntarily helped around the shop when he was in elementary school as he enjoyed being there. He says that he always had a passion for cooking ever since he could remember, even reminiscing about watching TV cooking shows after school and testing out the recipes in their busy restaurant kitchen. For him, he always knew in his heart that his life's path would take him here. Wow, pre-cut vegetables are hidden everywhere. In fact, the shop cuts them the night before to minimize the morning's prep time. Knowing that there are as many as 35 Teishoku menu items in addition to side dishes, the shop needs to be very efficient in their preparation. Do you have a hobby? That's hard, really? It's actually been his hobby for a while, even riding motorcycles around Tokyo in his wilder teen years. So, what do you ride? Cool, do you also wear a biker's outfit? <laughs> okay, do you ride in a group? He says that he and his wife love riding together to search out new food spots. I guess having a common hobby is one of the secrets to their happy marriage. I thought you don't really take days off. I like it, work hard, play hard. He's making kobachi. They're small side dishes that accompany typical Japanese set meals. His father made it a point to teach him to always consider the meal's nutritional value in addition to its taste and volume. Coincidentally, many of his regulars have told him personally that they attribute their health to the shop's food.
So what was your dad like? 父は厳し仕事は厳しかったですよ。挨拶とか時間もそうだし。So is there someone that's gonna take over and be the fifth generation? もう終わりです私で。<笑> oh no, really? How about your daughter? いややらないできないですよ。上はここで働いてて東大の。Oh, okay. He doesn't sound like a good candidate. He says that he had younger workers in the past who could possibly take over, but none of them over time could endure the tough and long work hours. He adds, though, that he really doesn't blame them as he knows firsthand how grueling it can be, on top of competing with all of the temptations and distractions available now to the younger generation. Ah, that's a tare sauce for the boiled fish. It smells so good. Don't you get tired working all day? <laughs> 疲れます。この仕事嫌いじゃないんで、疲れるけど楽しい。That's awesome. お客さんが美味しいって言ってくれると、もうそれで OK です。Well, I really hope he'll be able to find that perfect candidate one day who has the same passion he does for serving his customers, so that his legacy can continue on. Who knows? Maybe it's someone who's watching this video. Nice, the fish delivery straight from Toyosu Fish Market. When his father was the owner, he used to be the one that drove down to the fish market. But nowadays, he relies on the wholesaler his family's built a long and trusting relationship with to make the delivery. <laughs> oh, his wife is here. Hello. What's up with the diaper? Ah, oh, it's the same one that my son uses. <laughs> I heard you two have been together since you were both 16. So, what do you like most about him? <laughs> Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> okay, see you in a bit. That's another side dish, tuna shigureni. Its sweet and savory aroma fills the air. Hey guys, I wanted to quickly tell you about my Paolo from Tokyo Premium Kaminari Hot Sauce. It's handcrafted exclusively by a small batch producer in Japan's Niigata Prefecture, made with an original blend of premium kanzuri, aged six years, locally grown Carolina Reaper, and shoyu. A lot of love has gone into each bottle, and I'm telling you that there's no hot sauce in the world that has this level of umami and fire all in one. And it all begins at the base of Mount Miyoko in a process called Yuki Sadashi, where locally grown red chilies are. Spread over snowfields to develop their natural umami for over three to four days, forming the foundation of Kanzuri's distinctly delicious flavor. You can get it at Paolo from TokyoHotSauce.com or just click on the link below. And if you're in Japan, I have shops listed on the website, such as Skiji Fish Market. Fair warning, these handcraft bottles are produced in limited batches and we've already sold out once, so get it as soon as you can and avoid a one to two month wait. Now that he's finished several dishes, he takes a short break. Oh, that hot sandwich looks pretty good. So, why Morikawa and not Matsukawa? Ah, so it was named after the area Morikawa Cho Shokudo and it was later shortened. That makes sense. While he eats his breakfast, he works on accounting, orders, and everything else to run his business, making the most of his time. Oh, a part time worker is here. So, do you have any hobbies? That's work ethic. You don't watch TV? Seriously? Not really. I like happy shows. <laughs> Do you have kids? Oh, how old are they? What about your husband? I see. Thank you for sharing your story. <laughs> She's actually been working here for 10 years and is the longest serving worker. Matsukawa san told me that he has a deep appreciation for dedicated workers like her. Without them, it's almost impossible to run his business. After all, at its core, their business revolves around people. How do you like working here? That's nice. <laughs> no cap. Every morning, it's his wife's responsibility to update the specials for the day on the signboard based on what Matsukawa san decides to make. 
What's that? You got a lot. Good morning. Have you been working here a long time? Wow, then you're the second longest worker here. So, what did you do before this place? What kind of business? Oh, that's interesting. I want to film it. <laughs> Why did you close down? Oh, that sucks. Good morning. Have you been working here a long while too? Oh, are you a student? What do you study? I see. What do you want to do in the future? That's amazing! She's actually from the neighborhood and grew up loving their food, which led her to work here. So tell me, what's your favorite menu item? <laughs> Fried chicken makes me smile too! <laughs> 30 minutes before opening, everyone works diligently to get ready for the customers. <laughs> Are those bentos? It's amazing to see that they also make bento boxes for delivery on top of their lunch prep. They're working so efficiently. Hi. Hi, okay, this is... Oh no, it looks like the rice cooker isn't working anymore and they won't have rice ready for their customers. No rice means that they have to shut down for the day. Oh, it looks like an issue with the electrical outlet and they can temporarily fix it with an extension cord. Let me give you a hand. It worked? Awesome, it's working now. At 11.45, the shop finally opens, just a few minutes late due to the issue with the rice cooker. Despite the delay, their loyal customers hey. patiently waited in line. Hey, right after the door opens, Matsukawa-san goes into full gear as the shop takes orders and payment before seating the customers, so no time is wasted. The karage fried chicken smells so delicious. It's their top seller, and they even offer it as a combo with a hamburger patty. And most of their set meals are between six to nine dollars. Look at him go, it's like he has a thousand arms, seeming to effortlessly fill each order, but fully knowing that in the back of my mind, that it's his many years, day after day, working in the kitchen that has allowed him to make it look so easy. He says that he draws wisdom from his father, who would tell him, give it your all, and the customers will keep coming back. And to this day, he pours his heart and soul into each and every dish he creates, further adding that it's not the money, but the eclectic buzz of the shop filled with customers that fuels him forward. Oh, that's his daughter! Wow, as they deal with all the different orders the shop offers, the workers continue to prepare bento boxes for delivery. As the kitchen moves at a frantic pace, the hall staff also work in sync to serve each set meal to the correct table. It's quite busy in the kitchen, so let's talk to a customer. Hi, can I bother you? Do you come here often? What are you eating today? So what's your recommendation here? And what's your favorite menu item? Cool, thank you.
はい、はい、ありがとうございました。Almost done with lunch? 大体落ち着いてました。まだ夜が。Oh, you gotta keep going, huh? How are you holding up? 今日も疲れました。毎日疲れます。<笑>今日も忙しかったですね。Yeah, it sure was busy. The Hide Katsu sold out during their lunchtime rush, so now he prepares fresh cuts of meat for their evening service. And he uses the smaller pieces he cut out for their makanai, the free lunch provided to the workers. Apparently, nothing goes to waste in this shop. I guess today he's making the workers kushiyage, fried skewers. <laughs> What's your favorite makanai dish? <laughs> nice! Your personal chef! <laughs> And that's another one in the books. If you want to visit this shop for yourself, I'll be sure to leave a link in the description. Okay, so that's behind the counter at a local Japanese set meal restaurant for university students and salarymen. If you guys like this video, definitely help me out and hit that like button. If you guys want to help support the channel, then definitely check out my hot sauce. Go to powerfromtokyohotsauce.com. And if you guys want to see more videos like this or anything related to Japan, hit that subscribe button and the bell button. I'll catch you guys in the next one.